the stuff that goes on in our heads. <laughs> Hiya, Renee Jones here. We think and we think and we think and then we need soothing. Or the thoughts are so food related, particularly when we're trying to shed some weight or stay on track with our nutrition. The more we think about it, the more self-sabotaging it can be. What thoughts drive your self-sabotage? Well, there are definitely plenty to choose from, but I thought I'd focus on three today. Will I or won't I? That debate in your thoughts is just self-sabotage and it's draining that vanishing resource we know as willpower. Stop it by choosing how you will approach a situation before you get stuck in it. One of the most helpful decisions I made when I was working in hospitals was that I will not take free food. I mean, think about it. Most of the free foods, a lot of sugar, a lot of calories, and rather than dither every time it was offered, I decided I would always say, no, thank you. It was a one-time decision that saved me a lot of energy and oodles of calories. So consider the situations you face consistently. What response will be most helpful for you in the long term? I'm an all or nothing person. Okay, perfection in a nutrition plan is just self-sabotage. We make mistakes. We're caught off guard or something happens that we just cannot control. So what do you do? Make the best decision you can. One thing you must not do is blame, shame, or berate yourself. That's just another trap. When something goes awry, get back on track with the next meal rather than waiting for the next day or the following Monday. Start immediately. Think about it. How often does that all or nothing thinking end more heavily on the nothing end? Exactly. And hugs. You can't make me. Okay, where are my rebels? When someone tries to force your compliance, does it drive you to just say, uh, no? <laughs> or, if like me, you can be a little passive aggressive, might you agree and then not do it that way later? Or perhaps in the past, someone said something negative about you or your weight or eating something, that kind of thing. And it just sits there in the back of your mind. We can show them, can't we? <laughs> and hello, self-sabotage. When you must have a certain food or portion, check what's driving that need. Take a deep breath, bring it back to what you want and make your decision from there. So what other thoughts are actively sabotaging your goals? Let's talk them through. Contact me at renee at packyourownbag.com. All the best. <laughs>